A one hour and 25 minute weather delay, but here's opening kick at 8.45 p.m. Eastern. LeBorn. On the return, shy of the 20 for Florida State. Bell is the first year offensive coordinator after being the offensive coordinator at Maryland for the last two seasons. That is complete on the edge to Murray. Puts the shoulder down and barrels his way up near the 30-yard line. That 85-yard run last week against Virginia Tech was a career long for Akers. This one is complete to Akers who caught it and was stumbling. Akers is going to bump in to one of his own linemen here. This kid's got a tangled up right there on that left side with, with, uh, with Williams. Third and long. Francois. Air under it and too high for the intended receiver, Trey McKitty. Sweat in the National Football League. Now Brian Burns coming off the edge. Five and a half sacks in his last six games. Hodges wants to air it out. Caught! And into the end zone for a touchdown, Kelvin McKnight! 54 yards, Dave Archer. It's Hodges to McKnight, and the Bulldogs on the board first. The answer is yes. Great protection up front. Hodges loads it up, and here's his big timer. McKnight right down the pipe for the touchdown. In fact, he was going to come here and play in Doak Campbell. Trouble on the extra point. Tonight, he's 10-5 and five in those previous 15 games. Francois' pass is incomplete. Guys, back to you. First and 15. Hodges' pass caught at the 30. First down yardage. Well, you really have to trust your receiver, and he does with Kelvin McKnight. Ton of energy, and he likes his guys on defense. They're being challenged right now. Ten-year assistant at Michigan State and the co-defensive coordinator for the last three seasons. Coaches really trust him, and actually we heard Coach Hatcher, Hatcher tell us that earlier this week as well. Hodges avoided the pressure, dumped it off. It's complete to Miller of the ACC. Hodges near the goal line. It's batted down, and a flag comes out. In fact, there's two. Devlin Hodges from the shotgun. Down near the goal line with Roland Adams, and it's a touchdown from two yards out. Number 20, Roland Adams takes it in. Thing, Samford. This was a Florida State defense that held Virginia Tech after their opening drive touchdown. Nine consecutive drives are a punt or turnover on downs. And Samford has gone right down the field. They're going to take a look to see if the plane was broken here before the knee touched down. Roland Adams it certainly looks like from that angle he breaks the plane. Can't really see the body. You want to play with pace. Sanford getting that done. They won last Thursday against Shorter University out of Division II. 66 to 9. This is going to be uh, a big loss. There's a flag that came out as well. They're defensively for the Bulldogs. Now third and seven. Francois surveys the situation throws it up near the 35 yard line to keith gavin jacques patrick is the running back but francois wants to throw the ball got knocked away it's on the turf i did not hear a whistle until right then had a touchdown on five receptions a week ago this is third and short little razzle dazzle hodges throws it there's no one there up towards midfield receivers Campbell, one of the more veteran players. Play on second down. Francois, complete. It's Campbell again. Campbell. Down close to the 25-yard line for Campbell. They'll mark him out near the 27. Two nice plays by Campbell. 27 yards on that play. Francois. His pass is caught to the end zone. And a touchdown to Marion Terry with the grab for the Knowles. And they're on the board. 27 yards on the connection for DeAndre Francois. Uh, just what the doctor ordered here. Francois makes a good throw. Probably could have got both hands up there, but the freshman got enough of it with his left hand to reel it in and walked into the end zone. Able to beat Darius Harvey, number two in white there. Yeah, here's the stack formation. Now, see, the blocker is Terry. He's blocking Campbell, releasing up the field, and then Terry releases right after him. 
and kind of they kind of got decoyed a little bit. Terry looked like the blocker. Just 40 percent a season ago on third down, fifth of the SoCon. This one to an open man inside the 40, and running down the sideline is Andrew Harris. Finally forced out of bounds. Israel Dean had to bounce him out after 55 yeah, yards. Blown coverage, certainly. You see two Florida State defenders on the underneath route, and Harris breaks clean and off line with a throw. One for two on third down in the game for the Bulldogs. They've got a man open. Short of the 10 and stopped is Kevin Marion. To try to add three for the Bulldogs. From 30 yards out, Finneran's got it for Chris Hatcher. Into the end zone. Grant's coming out. To the 20. And up near the 30-yard line on the return. Been able to do it so far. Six carries for 15 yards in the first quarter for Florida State. Francois wants the throw. Put some zip on that one at midfield, and it's caught. In stride, Nyquan Murray and out of bounds at the 42. Excellent job up front this time by Florida State. Gives their quarterback time to sort it out. That's a play that takes a long time. Twice. Francois complete, 35-yard line. And taken down shy of the 30 is Trey McKitty. Ten yards and a first down on what should be the final play. Touchdown catch from DeAndre Francois. First down from the 31, Patrick. Patrick to the 15, leaps over the 10-yard line. State getting the edge here with the edge block, and now they're talented running backs. So nine yards on the run by Patrick. It is second and one. It's Patrick again. 40 Alfred Brown is in for Roberts. First and goal, Florida State. It's Francois untouched and into the end zone from eight yards away for the Knowles TD. Francois is going to pull it out. They show the same play. Get Gooden to crash. The, the defense even crashes to the inside, and Francois reads it perfectly. Last eight passing attempts. Here's third and long. Hodges again with some touch, running under it near midfield, and it's pulled in. Chris Schelling into the sideline, and just a really good job by Schelling to go late hand. To this second and ten. Hodges' pass near midfield is caught. That's Williams. Williams, two for four on third down in the game for Sanford. Hodges throws it, deflected in the air, and intercepted. Westbrook running down the sideline up near midfield. Hodges had to make the play. A.J. Westbrook has his INT. Fender can get his hand in and bat the ball. It looks like that Asante Samuel, Jr., Asante Samuel Jr., the freshman, I believe playing the slot, bats the ball in the air, and then Westbrook is there on the carom. Gets the Sunday hopping down the sideline. Three yards on the return. Francois with a middle complete. McKinney near the 30. The Knowles, this is third and 10. They were 12th in the conference last year in this situation. Watch out, a crumbling pocket. Down goes Francois as Ahmad Gooden came in and a penalty marker as well. Eight and a half career sacks. He's going to knife to the inside, little stunt, an ET stunt, tackle outside, end inside, and he wins to the inside. Sanford ranked number nine in the country in the football championship subdivision. This pass, catch and run beyond the 25-yard line by Roland Adams. He got nine on the play. Hodges threw for almost 4,000 yards a season ago and 31 TDs that led the conference. Hodges escaping the pocket and rolling right. Throws on the run, and it is caught at the 35. Two flags are out. It was Andrew Harris. Pass interference, defense, number 20. That penalty is declined. First down. Yeah, this is just impromptu here. Broken down play as Hodges escapes. Harris realizes his quarterback in trouble, so he goes deep. Excellent throw on the move. Nice job. 
They got five yards on that rush by Satine. Hodges to the end zone. It's a touchdown. Kelvin McKnight is second TD grab. And this one goes for 27 yards for the Bulldogs. What a big time throw and an excellent play by McKnight at the end. He's going to get away with a little bit of a push off against the best cover corner Florida State has. 600 yard games a year ago for McKnight. Already over 100 again this time. Two this year. Watch the little bump. Just a little bit of a forearm bump. Taylor's going to turn around to see if he got any got any help from the official, but that's what that's what receivers do. Himself up after getting knocked at the ground. One for five on third down. They want to do it from the near side. Matthews hopping around near the 35, and he is short. Won that game two years ago at Heinz Field against the eventual Big Ten champs. Hodges escapes, shovels it forward, and up near the 30-yard line. That is some improvisational skills up to shelling for 13 yards. Out of five minutes to play in the second quarter. Hodges again puts air under it. Broken up near the 30-yard line. McKnight was the intended target. Marion Terry. That's Patrick stumbling around the edge near the 40. With an eight-yard touchdown run to make it 16-14. McKnight has caught a subsequent TD from Hodges. Over the middle, completed midfield. And down to the 45, Nyquan Murray tripped up there. And he's going to draw Nyquan, uh, Nyquan Murray in man coverage. Boy, that's a win every time for Florida State. Good job of Francois. Added to a speedy receiver. From the 45 of Samford, Francois steps up as a man. Down near the 25 as Patrick absorbs some pad level contact. Francois, he sees pressure coming off his left side, feels it, slides up in the pocket. Against North Carolina this afternoon. Hokies are 2 0. They beat this Florida State team on Monday night. Francois with a pass. Ball's incomplete. There is a penalty marker. Francois. A lot of mustard on that pass near the 20, and Murray was reaching for it. From 40 yards away, it is no good. Last year, he has been amazing throwing the football. This time he hands off. It's Adams. Dave, how about 20 of 29, as there is some activity post-whistle. Florida State thinks it has the football. 317 yards in the game. He handed off right here to Rowan Adams, and it's a fumble and a recovery for the Knowles. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Florida State needed a takeaway. Their offense back on the field. So both of them in the game right now. That time, Akers the lead blocker for Patrick. Seven carries and 25 yards for Patrick down near the goal line. It's a touchdown to Marion Terry. Able to hang on. He's got his second TD grab of this game. Francois was under here. He took a shot on his left wrist, it looked like, as it was pinned against his body. But what a throw with heat in his face. And a good job by Terry to gear down with Carter coming over the top to try to rake the ball. Now heating up in the bullpen in case they need him. Hodges, complete pass. Satine, not a lot there at the 20. Uh, he may get a penalty here now on Florida State. Joshua Kando may have hit the quarterback late. Six on third down of the game for Sanford. This is third and four. Hodges throws it past the 30. Kramer was cut down. Like, take a look at the possessions. They, they started slowly, kind of got their feet under them a little bit. That missed field goal looming large right now. They want to move now with Akers. And he gets close to the 40 yard line. Bulldogs with a 23 21 lead. Florida State with the football on second down. Francois gets rid of it near midfield. That catch is made. On the Sanford side of the 50 for six yards to Trey McKitt. Evan on third down of the game for Florida State. We call this third and five. Akers lunging for the marker. Dave, this is going to be awfully close. I would expect Akers to see this one again. Fourth and short. It is Akers driven back. Dave, he's back to the 40. And it appears that the Bulldogs have held on fourth down. Aaron Harris, number 34. 
A lot of Seminoles around the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Hodges up near midfield and caught McKnight. Seven on third down for Sanford. Third and ten. The time for Hodges. Sails that one. Defense, they don't change their look very much. Francois was pressured, he got it away. Akers met at the 35-yard line. Did the ball come out at the end of the play? Well, Akers certainly was scrambling for it. Looks it like is Sanford ball, Dave. You see the indication from the official right on top of the pile. And there was pressure right in the face of DeAndre Francois. It's a turnover. Linemen are going to turn people loose. So Francois is going to lose ground. Pressure lays it off. Gooden in his face. Akers comes up, and certainly the ball is definitely out. That looked like Atkinson. Carolina and Virginia Tech, the ACC game of the week on Raycom Sports. We'll get it started at noon with the blitz. Here's Hodges facing some pressure. Tossed it. Intercepted. Taken back by Florida State, and Kyle Myers makes the interception. If they should, should choose to do it, well, that just went out the window by throwing this ball into coverage. He's being tackled to the ground. you got to eat the football and go down. Good job by Myers to see the ball in the air and make the play for Florida State that they needed. 25 Bello is in on the offensive line. Just two of nine on third down in the game for Florida State. Francois through the progression. Let's it go at about the 18 minutes and 31 seconds to go on the third. And the victor is... Up in the air right now as to who will come out of this one, Sanford or Florida State. In situations that they're in their favor. Two of nine on third down. That pocket starts to deteriorate. Hodges got it away, but it's going to be well short of the first down marker as Harris ended up with it. And it's a loss of two for the Bulldogs. They're bringing more than you can block, and you're faking the reverse. This was a dangerous play by Hodges. He's fortunate that the ball was caught. It's Indiana. Dropped in the backfield. Patrick Tom, got hit. Trenches. Watch off your right side of your screen. Just knifing through, just missed the block. Just, and you know what? Uh, mistakes made by thinking that someone else is doing it. Second and 13 from the 25. This pass complete. On the edge. Patrick past the 40. Never stop turning those legs. 16 yards. Patrick and six. By the way, Florida State is 23-0 against the football championship subdivision. That pass off the fingertips of the receiver. Campbell couldn't bring it in. The two-point lead, they've got the football second and nine. We start the fourth. Hodges finds an open area and hits McKnight. Nine yards. And Hodges has used nine different receivers. Pressure comes from the edges. He gets it away near the 40, and that's going to be a catch at the 41. Kelvin McKnight, another grab, seven yards for him. This has a couple of interceptions tonight for Florida State. Hodges the handoff. Satine breaks away to the 20, and he goes flying out of bounds. Seeing, I think that they lost him. He's so he, he's kind of bouncing. You got to make that tackle. Just a missed tackle by Florida State allows the team to... Three for 11 on third down for Sanford. Hodges floats it to the end zone. Knocked away and incomplete. It is good. From 36 yards and 30 yards. Grant a yard deep. Curves at the 20. Flag comes out. Stutter step at the 30-yard line. DeAndre Francois, a couple of TD passes and a rushing TD as well. Akers catches it. Runs with it past the 40 and up to the 45. Six yards. Just bring Cam Akers out of the backfield. Runs a little angle route inside. Fakes to the flat. Angles back over the middle. Maude Gooden, defensive end, was ejected for targeting earlier in this half. Pass by Francois near the 30 and hauled in Trey McKinney. 
Second and 10 from the 29. Francois to the end zone. It's too far for the receiver, but a flag is out. And that was Matthews. It is Akers. Puts the head down, moves his way to the five. First and goal from the five. And yeah. a loss on the play. Yeah, I don't like the call. That was You're Matthews, Dave, who got pulled down by Granger. A couple of minutes has come off the ball and pushed Sanford out of the way. They run with a finesse kind of play to the edge. And the guy that is in for Ahmad Gooden, Brett Granger, is the guy that makes the tackle on the sweep. A couple of TDs as well through the air. Third and goal. Looking at the end zone. Pros in there. And it's a touchdown. He hits Trey McKinney for a five-yard TD pass. So, Dave, here's the Bass Pro Shops catch of the game. Trey McKitty in the end zone. Well, and why not do a double dip? This was a big play, too. Murray in the back of the end just kind of found the ball. I don't know that he... Now the book says go for two to make it a three-point game. Francois pressured. Lost it into the end zone. And they converted. They've got the two to Murray. His decision-making by heating him up. From the 25 on first down, Hodges pass. It's complete. 100 yards for McKnight. McKnight, I'm sorry, I keep calling the kitty. Same number, wrong team. Over the middle and complete as Hodges was on the run. And Hodges buys time. Here comes pressure from Florida State. He sees it, floats out, and look at McKnight. A couple of years ago, Samford put a scare into Mississippi State, losing 56 to 41. That's intercepted. Levante Taylor. He's going to take it the distance. Oh, and you're going to get a, a stupid play by a player in behind decides to take a shot at the quarterback. And this is going to this is going to come back to him. You got an illegal block on the quarterback Hodges or at least one of the look maybe the running back state but there's a block in behind on the play that right there that's a clip is as clean as a clip can be he's calling it fairly this is a clip in the back Levante Taylor's gonna score anyway I'm not sure why I didn't get the Florida State number on the player that made the block but but Taylor what a play to jump the curl route and make a play when he needed it the most. The number one court, number one corner. Watch the block now in the middle of the screen. That's a block in the back, folks. All day long, that's a block in the back. Just two minutes to go to his first win as the Florida State head coach. Stick on the catch. He kept him in this thing in the second half. I thought he was the difference maker in the second half. Hodges' pass is complete. It's Adams who gets taken down. Minute to play. From the 28, fourth down with the Bulldogs. Hodges on the run. Throws an incomplete pass. It's going to be a 10-point win, 36-26, as the final seconds tick off the clock. But it was in doubt for a long time as Chris Hatcher's team came into Doe Campbell Stadium. Just the third all-time meeting between them, and this one goes to Florida State. They've won them all against Samford.